Hey everybody, it's John and Michelle, and this week we're talking about the gas stop. We are John and Michelle, and we believe memories are more valuable than material possessions. That's why we waved goodbye to 2,400 square feet of house and said hello to our 35-foot fifth wheel. If you remember back some time ago, we did a video where we went to the Tampa RV show. We had a blast. One of the fruits of that video was that I got contacted by Diversified Power. And they've been so kind as to send us a gas stop device. So I got this while we were on the road out west over the summer, but I specifically wanted to wait until we got home in order to do some more research and drill down on exactly what this is, what it does, and plan this video out for you. So this is the gas stop device from Diversified Power Solutions, and this is designed with three things in mind. First and foremost, most importantly, it is a 100% shutoff in the event of a major propane leak. If you have a hose that gets sheared, if you have something that comes disconnected, if there's an animal that gets in and causes damage to your propane system that causes a major leak incident, this is engineered and designed to prevent that major leak incident as soon as possible by cutting off the flow of propane from this bottle to the rest of your system. And that's a cool thing to me, to be able to understand the mechanics of the product that we're using makes me feel even more safe and secure about using it. <laughs> it's been really neat to kind of toy around with and we'll look at the technical aspect of it as we go throughout this video. I'll actually break one of these down and we'll take a look inside at how it works. But we wanted to take some time specifically to set aside you and I and talk about why this was so attractive to us now that we're on the back end of three months in the Western United States. Yes, there's really a lot of unknowns going into the RV lifestyle. And this trip that we referenced a while ago was even more of an unknown for us because there are a lot of new places to visit. There were a lot of new things to try, mm -hmm. including boondocking and getting to some pretty rugged places off the grid. Also some really high elevations. Yeah. We went through uh, the Bighorn Mountains and we're going up 8,000, 10,000, actually we got up to 10,000 feet, I believe in the mountains there. And that was pretty intimidating. As a mom, I really think about things that could happen whenever uh, we're driving. Uh, we could have a wreck, we could be coming down 8-10% incline, decline and brakes go out. I mean there's all kinds of things that kind of run through my head, not constantly, but you do think about those things. And to have an extra safety feature on your propane tanks was a really um, extra, extra peace of mind I believe. Yeah, and for me, it's one of those situations where as the father, as the husband, as the protector and provider, what are the steps that I can take to help put them in a safer situation? What are the things that I can do that in the event of some kind of incident, I give them a better opportunity to walk away from it unscathed? And this device does that. You think about an incident where a hose gets sheared. And I can think about one such time on this trip mm -hmm. where the potential for that existed. 
we were driving through the mountains in Utah and pulled over to the side of the road in order to take a break, let the dog out, grab a drink of water. And when we were pulling away, I dug the back end of the fifth wheel into the ground. And toward the back end of the fifth wheel is where the outdoor kitchen is located. That's a part of the propane system. Those are propane burners back there. So this kind of device and the ability to prevent propane flow in a situation like that is really almost essential. Right. It just gives that extra layer of peace of mind and protection and something that you don't have to think about when you are in um, kind of a scary, sketchy situation. There are some pretty epic experiments that guys have done online to test this in the event of a major leak incident. We're not going to do that in this video because there are so many examples of that online. And I encourage you to visit the Gas Stop website. They've got some of that material on there and you can examine it for yourself. What I wanna do is the second feature that the Gas Stop is designed for. We're going to do a minor leak test. Now the Gas Stop isn't going to cut off flow of propane much in the same way as a major leak incident if it's just a minor leak, but you can use this device with your propane system to examine if you have a minor leak. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Third, there is a gas pressure gauge installed in this device. It's one of the features that is installed as a part of the gas top device to help you more accurately gauge the amount of propane that you have in your tank. This is a really quick and easy install, so we're not gonna belabor the point a lot. I've got a GoPro mounted in here, so hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit better what's going on inside this cavity on the reflection. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that all of the propane is shut off. And you're gonna disconnect the hose. This end goes on here and it screws on much in the same way that the hose does. All right, and then your hose screws on here. All right, gas stop to the propane tank, hose to the gas stop, and now we're going to turn the propane on at the bottle and it's already in the green that gauge is already showing um, that we're we have a good amount of propane inside this tank now what you do to pressurize the system to get everything um, equalized on both sides is you're gonna push that plunger three, four, five, six, four to six times is what the instructions say. You can see that following the attachment of the device and pushing the gauge down between four and six times, that needle is now in the green section. So what we want to do is make sure that everything that runs off of this propane system is shut off. So for us, that means the refrigerator needs to be switched to AC power. We need to have our gas water heater turned off. We need to have our furnace turned off. We need to ensure that all of the uh, kitchen appliances are not being used currently and everything is shut off. What we're going to do now, and this is a very important step, is come back and shut the propane off at the tank. We'll mark the location of that needle, and then we'll come back in five minutes and have a look. And that will help us to determine, because the, the pressure is equalized on both sides, and now all of the gas has been trapped in the system. There's nothing coming out of here, so this will ensure us that we can accurately determine if there is a minor leak after about five minutes. I'm going to start this stopwatch 
and after five minutes I'm going to come back and I'm going to see where that needle is at. Now I've already performed a soapy water test, you know, you have to, a lot of times with these propane systems you have to do a soapy water test to see if there are bubbles that would help you determine a leak, I've already done that. and. We're going to allow this to sit for five minutes. We'll come back and see the location of the needle and check and see if there is any leaks. While we're doing this leak test, let's step inside the barn and take a closer look at the gas stop device. Here is the gas stop device. This is brass, machined, and I told Mike at Diversified Power when we were talking about all of this that I've got a, a really good friend who is really gifted scientifically and mechanically. And when I explain to him what this is and what it does, he's going to want to take it apart. And sure enough, the first time I showed it to Jay, he, uh, he took it apart. So this particular one, uh, we're not going to be installing on the reflection because it's been taken apart. Don't try that at home. You don't want to dismantle this, but for purposes of this video and, and to share with you kind of uh, how this device works, we're going to uh, take this one apart again. But uh, there are threads inside. If you have that type of connection, there are threads outside. If you have that type of connection, and that's the kind that we have on the reflection, this is going to be the flow of your propane. So this end is going to attach onto the tank. This is where your hose for your propane system is going to attach. Then you've got the gauge, the pressure gauge that pushes down kind of like a plunger. That's how it equalizes that system throughout the coach. Now, if we see if we can do this open this up and again don't don't do this to yours don't take it apart if we unscrew this portion there's this piece here little nipple there's a washer that's going to help seal and then there's a washer here that sits on top of this area right here and it's really tiny but there's a ball bearing that's it's trapped in there and what that does is that when that system is equalized that bearing is going to um, when you push that plunger, it's going to seat up on this rubber seal here. And when it seats up on that rubber seal, your pressure is equalized on both sides and you've got a free flow of propane. And when that system becomes unequal, that ball bearing will drop down in the path of the flow and it's going to cut off the flow of the propane to the coach. It's really... Uh, a beautiful piece of engineering and it's really effective as well. Okay, so five minutes are up and good news. The needle on the gas stop gauge is in the same spot. That means we have no decay in our system. Remember, we shut the propane off at the bottle. All of the appliances that would draw on the propane inside the coach have been shut off or switched over to AC power. That means that all of the propane that was in that system is trapped. It had nowhere to go unless there was a leak. And the fact that the needle is in the same spot is a great indication that we, thankfully, have no gas leak. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is this is a really effective safety device for your RV, your fifth wheel, or your travel trailer. Your propane system related to RVs, this is a really effective tool to help prevent an incident 
that could lead to damage of your coach or damage of your livelihood. Now, full disclosure, Diversified Power did send me this device at no cost, but they knew that I was going to do the work to do the research and to create this video. So I'm sharing this information with you and I'm happy to be able to do it. The safety of my wife and kids is my top priority. So this gives me a leg up in the event of a major propane leak incident. And I'm very thankful. So with that, we just like to thank Gas Stop for sending us their product and putting a product like this on the market to increase the safety of RVers everywhere. Yeah, if you are interested in checking out Gas Stop for yourself, look in the description for this video. We're going to put some detailed information in there about how you can find out more info on the Gas Stop and a direct link as well. We appreciate that support. We hope this video has been informative and entertaining. We certainly recommend the gas stop device. And until next time, we'll see you on our journey. Burners for refrigerators and those types of things. Mm. And now Larry's dog is losing his mind. <laughs>